Hello everyone, Sunset Duck 2, and welcome to another mod overview. This time on Water Erosion, a mod that adds the ability for water to affect blocks, as well as also spawning in, I'm pretty sure, flowing water that appears um, in certain areas. So, yeah, we'll just take a look real quick at some of the features. So, water flowing over edges erodes blocks below. If you have a block wall of sorts, it'll dissolve the wall. Water flowing the ends, so level 7, dissolves the block below, below it to dig holes deeper and potentially continue the flow. Water sources dissolve blocks to the sides, and a bunch of other erosion specific things such as obviously sand, gravel, clay, farmland, dirt, grass, and rarely cobblestone being eroded, and resistances to erosion depending on the density of the blocks of mission being. Now I thought I'd just place some here just to try and get an idea of player placed and uh, it has eroded this dirt block here so I'll just block that off. So I'm assuming this is an accurate block wall of sorts and you can see it's now removed the dirt so that's possible. Um, so I'll just remove this natural one. Uh, sorry this um, player placed. But I'm assuming that, that certain natural ones may be similar to that, or maybe a bit more accurate to certain ones that fit in otherwise. Now we'll go to some of the seeds, just to get an idea of ones that actually have stuff accurately. Uh, I am doing this 116, so we'll find out how the seeds actually go. But, uh, just because I'm not going to go around some of the worlds and possibly struggle to find some stuff, so we'll just take a look around for a bit and see some of these locations and see how it goes about doing things with um, some of the world gen and erosion that'll happen to it. So yeah, so we'll just go to here for example. Okay, so teleport ourselves to... Uh, okay. There we go. So, into a crevice of sorts. So we've got some water here. Just add a few sides of a ravine. We'll see what actually happens here. I'm assuming it's not going to do much to the stone. It will mostly be dirt otherwise. And I don't think this affects lava either. It only affects water. So you've got a few streams of water placed around a ravine. You've got a hilltop that creates multiple waterfalls. So I'm mostly just showing off certain water streams and how it generates in the world, rather than the erosion part here. So we'll see what we can find. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm to think. What was it again? Hilltop lake that creates multiple waterfalls, which may change direction or dry up. And I'm assuming that may or may not be the case because it's in a desert or savannah, particularly. So, nothing else here really? It's just the lake, it seems. So that's something. Got a desert nearby. Go to the next, which is an underground lake that breaks through the hillside to create a waterfall. So I'm assuming if we actually did break any of this, it would probably cause quite a lot. So we may actually do that right now, just in case, actually, just to see what happens. And create a bit more a path for it to go about doing things. Um, let's see, before we go there anyways. See what happens. Besides the grass, obviously. So 
Maybe I should try and say some gravel or something, or sand. Or clay, for example, and say we wanted to block this off. Um, See what happens. Um, nothing. But either way, there's that, I guess. Or at least it doesn't want to currently. Uh, so we get to the next location, which is here. So we've got a village, and we've got some water inside the mountain. Which I'm assuming is what it means by underground. At least I would assume besides what's below. Because this is under the mountain. Or hill, I guess. There's just lava and other stuff below. So we've got that as well. Some here, and obviously, if we let that out, it would be able to flow. And then finally, there's a source block that flows through a tunnel and then creates a small steam through stream through trees to a pond. area there, as well as a few nearby. So, yeah. Besides erosion, I'm pretty sure the mod is just supposed to have certain aspects of water nearby in certain locations and kind of changing it up for well gen, I guess, based on what it is presented here. Otherwise though, if you wanted to have it where you tweaked things a bit, um, you could probably use the random tick aspect as well. Uh, I'm not sure if this means just using the game room random tick speed command, or just, um, just another aspects of sorts. Otherwise, though, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. And also, there was the videos for um, better representation as well. Get an idea. Excellent.